<clears throat> all right shalom this is gamalu yala out of great millstone atlanta want to give all praises to yahweh by shim yahweh shai by shim rakakwadash double honors to the elders and apostles of great millstone shalom to all the akim that pushing out this truth and sincerity all right now this is going to be a quick lesson and um this is going to be centered around um well i'm going to entitle it the world is reaching uh a big climax okay um now uh one thing i want to go into is um a narrative arc okay um now um i've got an article right here it's gonna go into it um i'll go ahead and read it it's uh start right here universal to both fiction and non-fiction the narrative arc also called the story arc, refers to the structure and shape of a story. This arc is made up of events in your story, the sequence of occurrences in the plot, and determines the peaks and plateaus that set the pace. All right, now, um, the reason I'm bringing this out is because um, um, I'm, I'm going to, I'm going to um, relate this to the shape that the world is in today okay now um this uh this story arc okay we all know that this is the lord's story okay the the lord is the author okay you know he's the he's the um the screenwriter he's the director um you know he's the uh the it's his play, it's his story, okay? So, um, you know, going into um, this this story arc, okay, we can identify what is what. Because if you look right here, you have an uh, inciting incident at the bottom. And then you have the rising action, which is the spirit because... Um, uh i um compared compared uh the prophecies coming to pass as like a roller coaster going up okay going up you know if you've ever been on a roller coaster it's you know a slow ride to the top and then it just drops and uh here you have a roller coaster right here but anyway it's rising action climax at the top and then falling action okay which the climax is like the turning point, okay? And um, I'm just going to um, get some precepts to identify where we're at now and, and go into, you know, what's what as far as the story, as far as the rising action, the climax, and falling action. All right, so um, let's get some precepts. Um. As a matter of fact, I do want to go to uh, to this real quick before I bring it out. Slack you. Okay, here it is. So this goes into uh, a little bit more in depth on what's what. So um, uh, rising action. Characters are faced with problems, and characters must continually overcome problems. Now. Uh, who are the characters? The characters are the elect. Okay. As a matter of fact, let's let's get um. Second Ezra six. Second Ezra six and fifty four. Okay, and. And after these, Adam also, whom the Lord made us Lord of all thy creatures, of him come we all and the people whom thou hast chosen. All right, meaning um, the elect is chosen. Okay, everyone comes out of Adam, but the elect was chosen. Okay, and it says, All this have I spoken before thee, because thou madest the world for our sakes. Okay, yeah, so the Lord made the world for. Israel and the elect's sakes, okay? 
So that's how you know who's the main character in the scriptures, okay? Because if you make the world for, you know, if, if the movie is made for for a particular, as a matter of fact, let's go ahead and get Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. For thou art an holy people unto the Lord thy power. The Lord thy power had chosen thee to be a special people unto himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So let's go back to let's go back here. Characters are faced with problems and characters must continually matter of fact, let's let's read right here. It says exposition. Characters and setting are introduced. Okay? So in the scriptures, the characters and setting is introduced. All right. The characters, as we establish, is the elect. OK. Uh, you know, Israel, that's the special people. OK. That's who the Lord made the world for. OK. All right. And it says rising action. Um, characters. Matter of fact, let me finish that up. I don't think I finished that preset. Yeah, uh, the Lord have chosen thee to be a special people unto Himself above all people that are upon the face of the earth. Okay. All right. So let's go back here. Rising action. Characters are faced with problems, and characters must continually overcome problems. Now. In order to uh, go into the rising action of this story, okay, we have to know, well, first of all, we already know that the characters are the Israelites. And what what problems are the, are the Israelites faced with? I mean, there's so many to name. I mean, you have, uh, I mean, the, the main problem is the enemy, okay, the so-called white man, the wicked, okay? That's the main problem that the characters must overcome. Okay? It says characters are faced with problems. Alright, another problem being um well the the fact that the Israelites are cursed. Okay. I mean the curses are are bring about all types of problems. And how do we get cursed as a people? We got cursed as a people because of our idolatry, okay, spiritual adultery. Okay, committing fornication against the Most High. All right, that's what Israel had did, and that's why the Lord uh, punished punished us as a whole. Okay, but uh, rising action, and you can also relate this to prophecy. Okay, all right, you know, rising action is is basically, you know, um. um it's leading into, and that's that's where we're at right now. That this is, we're in the rising action phase of the story, okay. You know, prophecy is coming to pass. It's just it's heating up. It's it's you know it's it's just moving, okay. It's moving up. It's moving up in a, in in a direction, and every story is based off of every every story is based off of this format. Every story is based off of this format right here. Rising action, climax, and falling action. All right. So, um, matter of fact, let's get a, a rising action preset. Okay. Habakkuk 2 and 3. For the vision is yet for an appointed time, but at the end it shall speak and not lie. Though it tarry, wait for it, because it will surely come. It will not tarry. Okay, yeah. So going into rising action, it's a point, it's appointed. The vision is yet for an appointed time. Okay, talking about the prophecies. All right. But these prophecies are gearing up. Like I said, they're rising. And to the point of of where it has to drop, okay, going and going back to the uh, the um, roller coaster thing, okay, it's just gonna keep going up, 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 up until it gets to a point 
where it just has to fall, okay? It gets to the climax. And we're we're approaching the climax of of the story. Okay, this this is rising, it's, it's getting heated up, but it says it's for an appointed time, and at the end it shall speak. So it's speaking, that's how we know, the prophecies are speaking clearly, and that's how we know that we're, we're in the time of the rising action. Alright, now let's get, let's go to uh, climax. Excuse me, climax, the story reaches a critical turning point. Tension is reached its highest point. Now, what do you think that is? Oh, by the way, rising action is also Jacob and Esau. That's the main thing. The characters are faced with problems and characters must continually overcome problems. So the problem is the enemy and we got to come. We got to overcome the enemy, the so-called white man. OK, and everything is about Jacob and Esau. OK. But the climax of the story is when basically Jacob and Esau um, meet head to head, so to speak. OK, and that's going to be the climax. OK, the climax is Yahweh Shai coming to visit the earth with the chariots. OK, the climax is the, the nuclear missiles. The climax is the RFID chip. See, all these things. Are the rising action the 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 chip cards the um ru wars of rumors of wars all that stuff is rising action, but the climax is gonna be actual war, okay the lead up to the chip you know they got all these different new technologies, but the climax is gonna be the chip, okay the climax is when the prophecy actually comes to pass, and that's the critical turning point. See, that's when everything is going to change. As soon as the prophecy comes to pass, now the the characters are going to switch roles as far as the kingdom. The kingdom is going to switch roles. It's going to completely transition. Okay? Now, um, let's get that. It's going to translate from one kingdom to the other. Let's get that. This is... Uh, I think it's second Ezra six as well, six and nine. Second Ezra six and eight. And he said unto me from from I'll start at seven. Then I then answered I and said, What shall be the parting asunder of the times? Yeah, what what's gonna be the climax of the times? Let's get that word parting asunder. I'll just give a minute. All right. Uh, asunder is an adverb that means into separate pieces. Okay. So the parting asunder basically means to break apart. So what's going to be the, the breaking apart of the times? The climax. Okay. Or when shall the when shall be the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? Yeah, that's going into the climax, okay? Let's go back to it. The um says the story reaches a critical turning point. Tension is tension is has reached reached its highest point, okay? Yeah, so uh when or when shall the end of the first and the beginning of it that followeth? Okay. That's at the climax. And he said unto me from when Abraham unto Isaac, when Jacob and Esau were born of him, Jacob's, Jacob's hand held first the heel, the heel of Esau. For Esau is the end of the world and Jacob is the beginning of it that followeth. Okay. So like we just established, Esau is the problem. The wicked is the problem because they're destroying the earth. 
all right? And they're oppressing the, the people of the earth, okay? Um, that's the rising action, and the, the, the climax is going to be the turning point at which um, at which Jacob comes back into power. Okay, and let's get that. Deuteronomy 30 and 7. Deuteronomy 30 and 7, it says, And the Lord thy power will put all these curses upon thine enemy, uh, enemies and on, which, on, and on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. Yeah, that's the turning point. Let's go back to it again. It says, The story reaches a critical turning point. Tension is has reached its highest point, okay? Yeah. So this is the turning point, okay? When tension is, is just at a peak, okay? Because Jacob and Esau will meet face to face, okay? Jacob and Esau will go head to head, all right? And like I said, it's, it's going to be the elect of, of Israel versus the elect of the elect of Israel under Yahweh Shai versus the elect of Satan. Okay? The elect of Satan, which is the so-called white man, the, the elites. All right? So we've established the climax. Now we go into the falling action. It says tension eases and things get to start worked out. Things start to get worked out in the story. Yeah, and that's going to be the falling action is going to be when we set up, when we begin to set up the kingdom. Okay? You know, the elect gets delivered, okay? And all wickedness can be put out of the earth. That's going to be the falling action is when the wickedness is starting, is is being eradicated, eradicated and everything has been being set in order. It says resolution. Everything gets worked out and the story ends. Yeah, which the story is never going to end because we're going to live eternally. But... It says everything is going to get worked out. Yeah, everything is going to get worked out through order. Okay. And that's why we're in the this world is in the position it is because there is no order. Okay. Resolution. Everything gets worked out. Yahweh Shai is going to come back and work everything out. He's going to establish the laws. He's going to establish, you know, the kingdom. Okay. He's going to establish all these things. All right. So, um, you know. And that's the resolution, okay? 